would you like to discuss today? Well, I have some issues at my workplace. I have a coworker that is very hard to deal with. Um, she's um, rude, mean. Um, she never makes a mistake. Everybody else around her does. Mm -hmm. It's um, really hard to work with somebody like that. I'm actually the assistant program manager and she's quality assurance, which is kind of ironic because she doesn't have people skills. <laughs> Um, oh, let's see. It is better now. I know I probably should have confronted her, but one day I just had enough and I went to my superior with the individual and discussed it in front of, I felt like I needed a witness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I felt like if I confronted her head on, just her and I, it would have turned into Oh, it would have got ugly. It would have just been a lot of mudslinging back and forth. Mm -hmm. So I needed a person <clears throat> of significance in the room to discuss it with. Well, she took it pretty hard when I told her. She's been really rude to not just to me, but to other co-workers and people weren't, weren't wanting to come into the office because mm -hmm. of her attitude. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she talks down to people. Um, for instance, we used to go to lunch every day. Well, I started avoiding that because she was rude to waitresses and waiters. Mm -hmm. For an example, we went to IHOP. <coughs> we like IHOP. <coughs> but she doesn't tell the waiter what she wants until the stuff comes back and everything about it is wrong and she sends everything back. Mm. It, I mean, this is not just once in a while. This is every lunch. Mm. Every lunch we go to, something's wrong. So I'm telling the waitress because I know how she wants her eggs. I know she wants her, her bacon not crispy because mm -hmm. then it's burned. She doesn't want her hash browns crispy but not raw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I tell the waitress how she wants it mm -hmm. because I know when it comes back, it's going to get sent back. Well, usually there's something else wrong with it anyway. But mm -hmm. I'm, I try to, because I, I'm embarrassed because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I eat out of these places with my family and they remember me as being with the one that's rude and associate me with her and I'm not like that. I usually take whatever I get unless it's really bad mm -hmm. but I have never sent food back. I may not eat it but I have never sent food back. Mm -hmm. um, but after I confronted her with the boss and everything um, she didn't speak to me for close to six months. We wouldn't even eat lunch together. I started bringing my lunch to work and I was eating it at my desk and she was eating at her desk. She wasn't talking to me. Anything that had to be said back, which is hard in a workplace when you're supposed to be working together. Mm -hmm. um, I, she would send notes back and forth or memo me or, or leave messages and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as, so things weren't really, really good for oh, a good six months. And then she started um, coming around and it has gotten better mm -hmm. there are still some instances where um, she knows when she crosses the line I guess I have this look or I just be quiet when I be quiet then she knows she's overstepped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, but um, I just lost my train of thought <clears throat> oh for you know for the first six months she wasn't speaking at all and she wasn't speaking to anybody else that was coming through the office either. So it was it was pretty pretty tense there for a while. I even thought of looking for another line of work. Only I've done this for oh close to forty years mm -hmm. now, and this is what I do. So one of us, if one of us is going to go, she's going to have to go because I've been there longer. <laughs> okay. Um, well, how do you but, feel with her now? Uh, we have our days, <clears throat> excuse me, we have our days. Some days are really good. Mm -hmm. Other days, I firmly believe she's on medications because I can tell when she's not on it or something. I don't know. She's never said that she has been on medications, but some days nothing is ever right. She's putting everybody down. If you, if anybody comes in and <clears throat> has a confrontation or has um, doesn't agree with something that she says. Mm -hmm. I mean, that 
other people are not to have opinions. Mm -hmm. It's her way or no way. Mm -hmm. So if they have an opinion about something, she automatically doesn't like you, mm -hmm. and you're on the blacklist, and mm -hmm. you're going to get blackballed. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to you're going to be talked down to and talked about mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. everybody believes that the person is actually what she says they are. And mm -hmm. I have to go up behind her and say, no, that's not that's not the case. Mm -hmm. She just got mad at her, and that's what's mm -hmm. the case. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It has gotten better, like I said. She still has those issues, but I don't... It doesn't bother me as much now that I have spoke to my boss about it, and she mm -hmm. is aware of it. Because mm -hmm. um, every now and then, my boss will ask me how it's going. I said, well, today was a good day. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. today was not such a good day. Mm -hmm. And I said, but it's okay. You know, mm -hmm. pray about it. And, um, so the work environment at work is not as stressful as it was before talking to your boss? It's not. Okay. Uh, it's not. It is better. Mm -hmm. It is better. Um, but like I said, I have to. I think I felt. I felt I did the right thing by pulling my boss into it, so she was also aware because it was not just affecting my, me and my work. Mm -hmm. It was affecting the other staff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and when you don't have unity at the top, mm -hmm. you're not going to have. You're not going to have unity at the bottom. I'm right. not at the bottom, but down further down the ranks. You know. If all the work is going to suffer. Mm -hmm. So I felt in order to save the company and save people from not leaving because of her, and we were having good people leave mm -hmm. because of her mm -hmm. and her attitude, mm -hmm. um, in order to have a good company and have good people working for us, they need to be treated right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. talked to right with right. respect. Um, but we still... We have, we have done lunch probably outside of the office area probably twice in the last six months. Mm -hmm. And they're very quiet mm -hmm. um, lunches. Mm -hmm. And less, they're still complaining. She hasn't sent anything back, but be that Casa Ole, the chips might be too cold. Mm -hmm. Or they're not moving fast enough to get the chips out. Mm -hmm. And I'll just start a conversation or just to, to, to make her... To side track her. Yeah, to side track her and just get it because... The, the waitresses are busy. We know that. I mean, you have to have some kind of... For sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you had mentioned that she would talk down and be disrespect, disrespectful for the staff that's you know that would come into your office. Would she be disrespectful to you? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm older than she has, been there longer than she has, been mm -hmm. in, in this line of work longer than she has, but yet... Yeah, she knows everything about everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's just her personality, but she just needs to, she needs to chill. So what would she say that would um, be disrespectful for you that you would get, you know, you would be frustrated with how she would talk to you? Well, um, kind of, okay, say we're working on a project. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> now she she not like I said she knows everything about everything, but won't raise a finger to do anything about anything. Mm -hmm. See that all falls on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the phone's gonna be ringing. We won't pick up the phone if I'm in the middle of a project. You mm -hmm. know, one helps the other. Okay. Right. If I'm in the middle of something and I'm getting something ready for it's a timeline on it and I have to get it out. I have to get it faxed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> faxed to somebody or. <clears throat> email to somebody or I need to contact somebody or the doctors are offices are calling with appointments and stuff like that mm -hmm. that have to be addressed right away she wants me to drop everything like she you know and I need you to do this right now it could be something as simple as running off a copy or something mm -hmm. there's a copy machine here's the finger mm -hmm. you just touch the button put the paper in there and, and do it okay mm -hmm. or the phone's ringing really do you think you could pick it up and answer it? And this is her telling you? This is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think, uh, okay. Or the uh, the toilet's not working. You know, I need to call the landlord. Mm -hmm. uh, is your finger broken? Mm -hmm. You can, you've got the number. His number's on the door right out there. Just, you mm -hmm. know, anybody walking by can call that number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got an issue? Call him. Mm -hmm. But I'm supposed to do everything, okay? Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost like she puts everything on you, and then mm -hmm. she just is there to be glamorous. She's quality assurance. <laughs> okay. So she's managing the quality that you're doing. Yeah, apparently. Oh, apparently, okay. she works oh. under me. Mm. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I see. 
So it, like I said, it's getting better. Now I just, when she tells me the phone's ringing, I'll go, hmm, really? <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, one of us will answer it or one of us won't. They'll just call back. Yeah. But, no, I usually go and get the phone because it's, it's part of really, the job. Yeah, part of the job. But, you know, there are times when, you know, if I'm in the middle of a deadline or something, I'll say, no, I can't do it, not now. It's mm -hmm. going to have to wait. Mm -hmm. And I'll I say, I'll have to make me sticky because I'll forget, because mm -hmm. I do. I forget because mm -hmm. you get sidetracked, you get busy, and then you forget, and at the end of the day, I go, I was supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. But I make sticky notes everywhere. That's my that's my thing. I'm a sticky note queen. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's, it has gotten better, and um, she did confront me, like, after six months of not speaking to me, mm -hmm. she said she her feelings were hurt that I didn't come to her first. And I, I said, really, if I had come to you, you know how it would have went down, don't you? And she goes, no. It would have went like, and I said, yeah, I've seen it happen. I said, mm -hmm. anybody that confronts her is going to lose. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come out hurtful. And a lot of things are going to be said that can't be taken back. Yeah, but since so, it's a work relationship, it's almost best to get your boss involved with it and exactly. not just the two so of you guys because it it's a work-related issue, not necessarily a personal, you yeah, know, private it issue. It wasn't even personal. It was becoming personal, mm -hmm. you know, um, when she would start talking about my family or where I should raise my kids or what I should do. That's when she kind of draws a crosses a line, is, mm -hmm. you know, hey, well, I don't discuss my personal stuff at mm -hmm. work with mm -hmm. her at all, anything about my children, about my family, what's mm -hmm. going on. Um, because I just don't want my, my personal stuff aired out there. I mean, there's a lot of coworkers and workers. I don't need people talking about my, and it's not even related to the job. So right. I keep my personal life per personal and my work life. Now, if people come to me and want to talk, you know, that they've, they're having some, they're going to have to take some time off, of course, because I do payroll mm -hmm. and things. You know, they're going to have to take some time off. They've got a family emergency or they've got a mom that's sick or whatever. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, but I keep that to myself. That's not something I'm going to run to her and tell her about. Right. Because it's none of her business. It's right. not nobody else's business. But in her, she would do that. Yeah. She would, you know, talk. Create so, that, yeah. that gossipy environment. Yeah. And I don't like gossip. Oh, yeah. Um, so for now, for the most part, you say it's on the better side where... You know, it's not as stressful at work, or how is the situation at work now? It is, like I said, it is better. It's not perfect, but no workplace is perfect. And we're all, all women working there, so that's, uh, the working with all women is not always a good It's a day. challenge. <laughs> yeah, so, so many chiefs, so many chiefs and not enough Indians, mm -hmm. is what my dad always said. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be boss, right. boss the other one around, and it, it gets catty and stuff. It's like high school, like, come on, people were almost, we're old. Now, right, right. Yeah, you know, grow up. <laughs> but um, no, it, it it has gotten better. I gotta say that it has gotten better, and I don't let it bother me like it did because it was really, really. There were days that I didn't even want to go to work. I would just feel sick to my stomach because mm -hmm. I thought I'm gonna have to confront her again and again and just listen to all this negative because it was negative, 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 negative all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, and I I took it to the cross. I left it at the cross. Never since I've done that, it has gotten it. Yeah, Fall back every now and then and pull it back. Like then I have to shove it back under the cross and say, mm -hmm. you know. But um you know, human nature is you, know, you wanna pull it back in and say I can fix it, but some things you just leave it the cross, let it and it takes care of itself. And so your faith has really kinda of helped you turn the situation around. A and lot. so it's not so much where you feel you know, she doesn't make you have that negative feeling so much anymore because you turn you've seen no, it in a I'm, different light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I, I don't need to, I don't deserve to be talked like that. Nobody else needs to be talked to like you're nothing. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we're all, we're all important. We all have a purpose and a place. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, right. it is better, much better. Awesome. Well, thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you for listening to my, my little gripes and my problems. All right, well, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Okay, thank you.